Harry Hill has poked fun at the speech Holly Willoughby gave when she returned to this morning on tonight's episode of Have I Got News For You. This morning presenter Holly Willoughby, 42, has been criticised for the speech she gave when she returned to the ITV show earlier this week. The Dancing on Ice star had been absent from our screen since reports had started to surface about a rift with co-host Philip Schofield, 61. After stepping down from the show a couple of weeks ago, Philip also went on to reveal that he had an affair with a much younger colleague on the show while married to his wife Stephanie Lowe. The star has since apologised to everyone he lied to, and described his actions as unwise but not illegal. ITV also released a statement saying they felt deeply disappointed and badly let down by Philip, announcing they would also be launching an investigation. When Holly returned to this morning on Monday, many viewers were left perplexed by her emotional introductory speech, which saw her ask fans, are you OK, and confess she felt shaken and let down. Tonight on BBC comedy quiz show Have I Got News For You, comedian Harry Hill, 58, made his own cheeky joke about Holly's speech. The show opened with a clip of Holly telling viewers, right, deep breath. The camera then cut to Harry, who breathed comically, sucking in his cheeks. Firstly, are you okay? The recording of Holly asked. I've got a bit of a bunged up nose but otherwise I'm fine, Harry replied, before turning to the camera with a hilarious, quizzical expression. This is not the only time members of tonight's show made light of the ongoing drama at this morning. At one point, panellist Ian Hislop joked about who might replace Holly's co-host, as the identity of the presenter set to take up Philip's old role seems to be undecided. In one of the show's classic Spot the Connection rounds, he joked that Holly's new host could be anyone from conservative politician Eric Pickles to comedian Jack Dee's daughter's dog. Tonight's show saw Jack join Paul Merton's team, while editor-in-chief of Vice Sing Xiang joined Ian's.